Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to configure a firewall. Now specifically, I'll be using my Windows Server 2022 domain controller that we use for the channel. If you're using Server 2019 or 2016, the steps will be mostly the same. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in licensing Windows Server, purchasing remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up server one. This is my main licensed copy of Windows Server 2022 that we use for the channel. And I have this server promoted to domain controller. One of the requisites required to adjust and configure this firewall is to be an administrator of the server and or domain. So I'll log in with my credentials and we'll get started. All right, so I'll go ahead and get signed on here using the administrator login credentials. This is my domain controller here. And the very first thing we can do is do um, Windows S and open our server manager if it's not already open. Clicking into tools tools here in the top right, we can scroll all the way down until we see Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Okay, so we're going to click into that and I'll simply just close my server manager and expand this window. All right, now just a quick rundown on the different options we have in the Windows Defender Firewall menu here. So inbound rules, that is going to control any inbound traffic. So anything that's coming from an external source into our server and attempting to make a connection, that is going to be controlled by any rules that are active inside of here. Outbound rules is the opposite, where anything that's internal that is trying to make a connection to an external source, that is controlled by any and all rules within the outbound rules category. Uh, connection security rules, these are basically additional rules that we can configure, and we'll briefly talk about this later. And then we also have a monitoring section. And now there's a shortcut menu we can access by right clicking at the top here. This gives us import export policy options as well as a restore default. So if we wanted to essentially reset the settings so that firewall is exactly the same as it was when we first installed our server, that's how we can do that. We also have diagnose and repair as well as refresh properties or help settings. All right, now in terms of adjusting these settings, properties is going to let us change any one of these profiles. We have the domain private or public profile, all of which can be accessed from the property menu. We also get a live sort of overview of how this is configured as well. It's worth noting that we can control different elements of the firewall directly from within this properties menu. For example, we could turn off our firewall entirely. Uh, notice that there are no changes made yet until we hit apply. There we can see Windows Defender Firewall is off. So I'll put that back on, which is recommended. And we also have various other settings. Now on this top page where we're currently at, this is kind of like a shortcut menu right here. Anything that may be commonly accessed or commonly adjusted, uh, we can generally find that on this page. All right, so let's go ahead and explore some of the rules and different ways that we can see and adjust what's going on inside of here. So anything that is currently activated and enabled will have a green icon next to it, as well as the yes word underneath the enabled column. So looking at the icon would be a quick and easy way to determine which rules are currently activated and which ones are disabled. Now, if we click and highlight, we can see we get some more options here off to our right hand side. We have disable rule. Uh, we can delete the rule. We can also do some different various filters options and we can export as well. So for example, if I want to enable this rule, I'll go ahead and do that. And I can click down and do the one beneath it as well. And so relatively easily, I've just enabled these two rules. Now we also have the option to create a new rule. From this wizard, there are various presets. We can choose a program, a port, a predefined, um, or we can just do a custom rule entirely from scratch. Assuming that you create the rule in its entirety and there aren't any issues, you would then be able to enable, disable, or view the properties of that new created rule. The exact same thing is available from the outbound rules menu as well. All right, now going down into connection security rules, if we create a new rule in here, notice we have some different connection types so, for example, we have isolation, authentication exemptions, server to server, tunnels, and again, custom rules. So we would select our appropriate security rule type, and then we would basically just follow along with the wizard, configure this however we need, and we would be good to go. All right, guys, so that's kind of a rundown on the firewall configuration itself. All right, guys, the last thing we wanted to show you is a potential troubleshooting method. If you're running into issues with the firewall, rather than actually shutting down the server, you can actually just troubleshoot the firewall. We do have that ability. So we'll open up our control panel. 
And in this little search category here, we're gonna type services. Okay, once in here, scroll down to Windows Firewall. Now what we're looking for is to ensure that the startup type is set to automatic, which it is. And if it's not, you would simply click stop in here and then we could adjust that setting, change it back to automatic, hit start. So this is essentially a way that we can troubleshoot the Windows Defender Firewall. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, anything from Windows Server, SQL Server, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like, comment, and subscribe is greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.